Hey guys welcome back to Ace Recaps. Today I'm going to be explaining a 2017 Hindi action comedy film titled, A Gentleman. The movie starts off with Gaurav who's seen completing his life's dream of finally buying a house in Miami. He's then seen heading off to work in his new minivan. At work he tells his best friend, Dixit, about his recent purchase. Just then he gets a call from his friend, Kavya, who asks him for help as she got caught speeding. Kavya seems to act like a Karen and is seen yelling at the police officer. She even makes fun of Gaurav who sold his Mustang and bought a minivan in hopes to start a family soon, but he neither has a girlfriend nor any children. As he drops her home, she gets annoyed with him as he drives under the speed limit. At work Kavya's friend says that she needs to start dating Gaurav as he's very cute, but she denies it saying that he's not her type at all since he's very nerdy and she likes a bad boy. Suddenly we are taken to the Chinese embassy in Bangkok and introduced to Rishi who seems to be an international spy and a doppelganger of Gaurav. He's on a mission to retrieve some documents from a safe. As he and the team try to open it, they fail. So they move on to plan B, where they plant bombs on the safe. Rishi thinks that the bomb might be a little too much, so he hides behind a desk. As the bomb explodes, the safe is sent flying out of the building. Rishi distracts the cops and gets on a bike to escape from the building while his team secure the package. A crazy bike chase begins, where they are seen killing the cops and doing some crazy stunts. The bike chase continues for a little bit until they finally manage to escape. At their van, Jakob is seen killing an innocent civilian because he saw their faces, but Rishi seems to get upset about this. Their team is finally revealed to be called Unit X. In the next scene we are taken to Mumbai where we watch the colonel, who's in charge of Unit X is actually corrupt and executed the Bangkok operation for an arms deal. Back in Miami, we watch as Gaurav asks Kavya out on a date, not knowing what to say, she unwillingly agrees. At the restaurant, Gaurav is dressed very well and practices proposing to Kavya. She then enters dressed shabbily and they seem to have an awkward handshake. When Gaurav kneels down, Kavya screams telling him not to do it but is relieved to know that he was just picking up a spoon. Gaurav picks up the sign, and when the waiter gets the glass of champagne with a ring, he chugs the glass down and excuses himself. A few days later Dixit convinces Gaurav to sing a song and seduce Kavya. He's hesitant at first, but then proceeds to sing a song. Everyone then dances with him as though they'd been practicing the dance for the past week. Kavya is then also seen dancing with him and they have a good time. Back in Mumbai, as Unit X is seen getting tattoos, Rishi complains about the intentions of the colonel, but Jakob supports him and tells Rishi to stop whining. Rishi then tells the team that this life isn't for him anymore, as he wants a family with a nice house and garden. Rishi then goes to the colonel and tells him that he's going to quit the team. The colonel tries to convince him to stay, but Rishi disagrees and walks away. We are then taken to the state of Goa where we watch as Rishi enjoys his retired life. He's suddenly approached by the NSC who ask him for his help as they tell him that the colonel is a corrupt man. But Rishi denies it claiming that he's retired. As Rishi goes back home, he notices that someone has already entered his house. He then finds a bomb, so he sneaks out of the house. When the assassin goes in to finish the job, Rishi sets off the bomb and kills him. An angered Rishi then gets on his bike and approaches the colonel at a restaurant. The colonel offers him his freedom if he does his last job for him in Mumbai, so Rishi agrees. At the same time we watch as Gaurav is also being sent to Mumbai for a meeting. Rishi is seen executing his mission. He enters a gay bar looking fly as hell and begins to seduce the defense secretary while his team steals his phone and copies all the data. It was a hilarious scene. You need to watch it because explaining it won't do it any justice. The next day, Gaurav reaches Mumbai and travels to his work. He gets to the office and finishes off his meeting. Everyone's very happy with his work and he then exits the building, gets in a cab and heads to the airport. Unit X is then seen kidnapping the defense secretary and Rishi goes in pretending to be him to meet someone. As he approaches Rishi they speak for a bit, and he hands over a package to him. He is suddenly shot by Jakob and Rishi gets mad about this since the colonel didn't tell him about the whole mission. They then get into a car and drive off. Jakob gets a message telling him to finish the mission. 
Rishi figures out that something is fishy and when they try to shoot him, he dodges the bullet. They end up fighting in the car and killing the driver. The car then drives off the terrace and gets stuck in between two buildings. Jakob gets out of the car to save his life and Rishi runs away with the package. Jakob catches up to him and they fight each other like madmen on the street. Rishi takes the package and starts running on the rooftops. Just then he is shot by Jakob and he falls off the building. When Jakob goes to retrieve the package, we see that Rishi survived the shot and has escaped. Rishi is then seen seated in a restaurant and the hard drive was destroyed as it took the shot and saved his life. He then calls the colonel and threatens him, saying that he'll leak out all the information on the drive if he's not left alone. Rishi then decides to leave the country and we watch as an angered colonel sends the entire unit X after him and orders for an execution at all costs and for the drive to be retrieved. Rishi puts on a disguise, makes a fake passport in the name of Garov and gets to Miami. The twist of the movie is finally revealed that this is the past, and Rishi is actually Gaurav who traveled to Miami to start a new life. In the present, Gaurav is sent to Mumbai for a job and unfortunately gets in an accident. The video of this accident goes viral and Rishi is identified by the colonel. They even figure out that he's been in Miami for the past few years and decide to go after him. At his office, Kavya comes to him and asks him to help pick up her parents from the airport. They then decide to have fun that weekend. Gaurav is seen covering up his tattoos with a full sleeve shirt and they both end up dancing together, taking a boat ride and even playing some volleyball. It's quite romantic and Gaurav seems to be falling for her even more. As they go to the airport to pick up Kavya's parents, Gaurav asks for their blessings and helps with their luggage. On the drive home they are seen evaluating Gaurav as a potential match for Kavya. He even invites them home for dinner. In the next scene, we watch as a gangster, Jignesh along with his gang torture a man by putting him in a washing machine. He then gets calls from Jakob, who tells him to track down Rishi. So he sends Jignesh a picture of Rishi, and that picture is forwarded on all WhatsApp groups to track him down. One of his associates, Coco, spots Rishi filling up on gas and Jakob instructs to follow him, but just then Jakob's phone dies. So Coco decides to go in on his own and takes Rishi at gunpoint. He tries to convince him that there's been a misunderstanding but Coco doesn't seem to listen. So Rishi beats him up and ties up his hands and legs, puts him in the trunk of his car and heads off to work as he's late for a meeting. While Rishi is presenting a project at the meeting, Coco manages to get the trunk of his car open. Rishi spots him through the window, so he asks Dixit to take over and Rishi runs off out of his office. Dixit makes a total fool of himself, but Rishi manages to catch up to Coco, and locks him up in the trunk again. He then drives back home. Dixit, who gets mad at him, ends up going to Rishi's house. He enters through the garage and spots his trunk moving. Unluckily he gets taken hostage by Coco. Coco demands for his phone from Rishi. Just then they both dive in for a gun and Coco accidentally gets shot and dies. Dixit starts to panic and Rishi slaps him to get over it. They then start to clean up the blood and just then Kavya's parents show up for a visit. Dixit hides with the body and the parents ask to be shown around the house. So Dixit drags the body from the kitchen to the bathroom and removes all his blood-stained clothes. Kavya's father is seen roaming around the house and opens the bathroom door and spots Dixit and Coco in the bathtub and mistakes them for being gay. So he awkwardly smiles and lets them be. Meanwhile Rishi and Kavya's moms are seen speaking and she asks him to marry her daughter and hugs him. As they leave Dixit is seen complaining about the whole ordeal. Rishi tells him that he'll tell him the whole story but he needs to go home for now and lay low as he needs to dispose of the body. Back at the airport, we watch as Unit X arrives. They are picked up by Jignesh who tells them that he's sent his men after Rishi. Jakob gets angry and beats him up as he just instructed him to follow Rishi and not engage. We then watch as Rishi goes to Walmart to shop for supplies to get rid of the body. He's suddenly approached by four men. He beats up all the four men in seconds and gets out of there. Back at home, Rishi loads the body in his car and as he opens his garage door, Unit X is seen waiting for him. They enter his house and threaten him and ask him about the package that he stole from them. Rishi confesses that the hard drive got destroyed in the shootout but Jakob doesn't believe him. 
Suddenly the doorbell rings and it looks like Kavi is at the door who's very mad at Rishi for asking her hand in marriage with her parents. Rishi is then beaten up, and both of them are then seen handcuffed in an abandoned laundromat. Kavya is so self-obsessed that she thinks someone has kidnapped her because they might have mistaken her for a celebrity. Meanwhile Unit X is seen ravaging through Rishi's house, they find the drive and realize that it's been destroyed. Rishi then manages to take a pin off Kavya's necklace and they both share an awkward moment. Rishi uses the pin to uncuff himself and they both escape. He then beats up a man in front of Kavya and she genuinely seems to be impressed by his skills. They then get out of the building and Rishi hijacks a car. Kavya is shocked by this and refuses to get in the car but Rishi promises to tell her everything once they get out of there. At a hotel, Rishi tells Kavya the whole story. She seems to be shocked at the fact that he has killed many people in his past. He tells her that he had no choice as he had no family and was dragged into this life as a child so he did not know the difference between right and wrong and that he's worked very hard to build a new life for himself as he's been wanting a family and a house. As they change clothes, Kavya stares at his tattoos. She is now clearly attracted to him as she seems to be extremely toxic. God bless him. They then share a romantic kiss and make sweet love for the first time. That night as they sleep, Rishi wakes up Kavya. He tells her that she needs to leave right now as Unit X has already found them. She hugs him and leaves. Rishi then surrenders to Jakob and tells him everything about the colonel and that there's still one way to retrieve whatever was there in the hard drive. Jakob agrees and promises to let him go free after their final mission is completed. Rishi then goes home and plans for the heist as he needs to know a way out as he knows that they are going to kill him once the mission is completed. He calls Kavya too. The next morning as he's walking by, he's approached by Dixit who tells him that he's never felt more alive after killing Coco, so he wants to become his partner. Rishi agrees. The mission is to retrieve data from a weapons manufacturing company that ties the colonel to his corrupt actions. So that evening they set out on their mission. Rishi gets into the building by climbing down the side and planting a bomb on the window. He sneaks in through the vent into the server room and manages to retrieve all the data. But unfortunately the security gets alerted and they chase him through the building. An action scene commences and Rishi beats up quite a few security guards and finally escapes by breaking a window and jumping through it. He then hangs on some chains and falls onto some cement bags. He starts running on foot but is chased by the security in their cars. He is suddenly picked up by Kavya and they manage to escape the guards by getting into an alley. Rishi gets home and is then approached by Unit X. He hands them over the drive but Jakob does not stick to his promise. They get into an epic shootout and Rishi manages to kill most of the team. Jakob and him then get into an epic fight and Rishi wins by pulling a gun on him. He tells him to leave his house and Jakob agrees. In the car, Jakob checks the drive and figures out that the drive is empty. This is because Rishi handed over the drive to the NSC to terminate Unit X. As an angered Jakob drives back, Dixit runs his car into theirs. They are approached by the police who notice a dead body in their trunk. They then get into a shootout and Jakob finally gets killed. Just then the colonel, along with the rest of Unit X enter Rishi's house, but Rishi is long gone. He calls up the colonel, says his goodbye and explodes his beloved house. Rishi and Kavya are finally seen driving away into the sunset with new passports and $11 million from the colonel's account. He finally proposes to her and she says yes. That's all folks, thank you for watching, if you like the video please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a great day.